But hello there, everyone. Welcome to our first look at Star Wars Legacy Old Republic. Legacy of Old Re Leg Le Legacy of the Old Republic, a Stellaris mod which is set in the olden days of Star Wars. Uh, so we are going to be checking this out for the first time here. Uh, we played Star Wars New Dawn, which is another mod for the uh, for Stellaris that's made by the same creators, but. Let's open it up, see all the factions we have here. So a huge variety of factions. I'm not sure how that breaks down into uh, individual ship sets yet. I know I've seen a few. And I think if we go down to the Chiss, there will be some familiar stuff there. But I think we're going to stick with uh, with some nice standard Coruscanti unions for this one to get us started with. Uh, we'll take a look at what's going on here. Probably not going to be a super... Uh, a super long stream today because my voice is uh, not my voice feels weird but uh, but yeah so let's get started we are forsaken core worlds which has no effect following the mysterious disappearance of the Rakatan Empire many of the former slave worlds were left alone re-engineering of the Rakatan technology and especially their hyperdrive lead to a rapid tech I don't know why that made sound when I was breathing in that's not great lead to a rapid technological progression towards space travel the zenith of this progression was the great hyperspace war between the aligned core worlds and the ancient Sith Empire. This war left the galaxy in ruins and destroyed early communication and relations. After a time of isolation and stagnation, multiple empires seek to explore the unknown in search of new opportunities. So, we are egalitarian, xenophile, materialist. Uh, Coruscant resilience gives us less war exhaustion, which I'm always happy with in Solaris. I get my war exhaustion out of here. Monthly unity is increased by 15%, and Empire Size Fund pops, goes down. Okay, so the monthly unity is going to be pretty powerful, I think, in the new Stellaris update. I haven't played... Uh, aside from this, I haven't played the new update to Stellaris at all yet. It's been a, a while, and we've had some time off of the game, so I'm going to be struggling through it a little bit, maybe. But let's uh, let's just go in. I'm going to go into one of the smaller ones. Okay, so the lower rich static galaxy has two sizes. We're going to go with 600. And Mandalorian Crusades. Okay, so the end game crisis is the return of the Sith. The Mandalorian Crusades are the, uh, the mid game crisis. I'm going to put those as early as possible. So we'll do it that way. And I'm ultimately not really thinking I'm going to win this one. Uh, I'm going to make it... I'm going to reduce the habitable worlds, because there's usually a lot of habitable worlds in in these Star Wars mods for it that have a lot to manage. But if we die early, that that's fine. Uh, this is just going to be a, a getting-to-know-you game. I want to see how it works, get, the, get a feel for everything. Price of strength I'm going to leave at one times, though. Uh, extended features, what does that do? Some Solaris features that were adapted for Lord Le Le Legacy of the Old Republic are technically outside the lore. The Colossus and Juggernaut, or the Become the Crisis and Burke, for example. Uh, we'll leave those on. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it with, uh, how they probably intended it. So, I I'm assuming these are features that they didn't really want to keep, but people would get mad if they removed. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with what the modders seem to want on that one. Not uninhabitable worlds, though. I, I, Stellaris is there, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. Uh, I I think there's probably some specific scaling to how that works. I don't think it'll get rid of Coruscant, especially when Coruscant is our home world. Uh, it's the ones that you capture that would be would be reduced. So all the main faction systems are probably fine with that. Uh, but let's go... Let's go in with that. Yeah, I'm sure there will be people on the the YouTube side who... who see this and think it's a Revenge Revenge preview, but... No expectation is set too high for the people of Coruscant. The rebuilt city of Zell is truly a sight to behold, a crowning achievement of all things in beauty, architecture, and efficiency. As grand and noble as the city is, it's only a facade. 
Without others following our lead of democracy, how could they ever grow to be as grand as we? During the reign of the Infinite Empire, our people, were sent out, our people sent out sleeper ships, secretly colonizing planets under Cotton's eyes. With those despots gone, we must seek out our long-lost brothers and sisters. We must reunite under one banner. It's the only way we can be strong and prosper. I think that's a Star Trek thing. Alright, let's take a look at the galaxy. Neat. We got Coruscant here, Kekelius, Metalos, uh, Veles, Zug, and uh, Unknown. But that's my favorite star system is Unknown. It doesn't get enough credit. Alright, let's take a look at our research. Army damage plus five minerals from jobs, engineering research. I feel like the research improvement is better. Like, the army damage we're not going to care about for a while, though the minerals from jobs is nice. So, oh, let's do that. Fleet command limit, food from farmers. Let's get anything that gives us more resources of any kind. Uh, I don't know that we're going to go with droids, but if we get it that early, uh, let, let's do it. I don't really, I haven't really ever played too much with, uh, with robot production in, in Stellaris. So, it's... That's going to be a thing. Thing to get used to. I'm going to move my face. Alright. Let's build all the mining stations. Science ship. Survey there. And end the pause. Alright. Coruscant, what can you build on your surface for us? I'm gonna go with nothing. Yeah, we need we need more minerals. We don't need any rocks to get them. Shipyards. Let's get a, another science ship, I think, and a construction ship. I wanna I wanna spread my Coruscanti wings and fly. I don't remember seeing the huts on the on the list, but I have to assume the huts are there. Alright, I'm gonna pop it up to fast. You need a new scientist, not the magazine thing. Research speed, I'm gonna recruit you and then, uh, hold on. What can, what do you all have? Voidcraft, meticulous. Alright. I'm gonna take one of you away. Expertise, computing, that's probably a good place for you. And you're gonna get switched. Because I I want that I want the faster research. Fast research, very epic. Alright. And you are gonna go out the other direction. Surprised that there isn't a start that makes the whole world build in, or did I miss that? Uh, I'm not sure if the large one has it that way. Uh, but I think this period, this probably one of the reasons they went with this period, if I were to baselessly speculate, is because this was a period where less of the factions would have been all over the place, which is one of the drawbacks, I think, to a lot of Star Wars mods for Stellaris, uh, where, like, there are some cool elements to having everyone start everywhere, but you lose out on a lot of what actually makes Stellaris fun, and it gets a bit weird to manage at the start, so that might be an intentional reason for that. Like, it might be going a bit more in that direction than the lore supports, technically, but it I think it works better for gameplay that way, so uh, they might not have one of those bigger starts for this particular mod. The Jedi Order. Representatives from the Jedi Order arrived earlier today on Coruscant. The Order used to maintain friendly relations with us, and they were essential in the Great Hyperspace War decades ago. I mean, if we're at the Great Hyperspace War, we're a little bit more built up, but anyways... I, I'm not going to complain. I would have picked that option if it were an option anyways, to, to have everything more isolated. Uh, but it's like it's more of a stretch, but it's less than doing it in the later periods. We did not maintain much contact with them after our isolation. Now diplomatic channels are open again, and Jedi Master from the Order tell us of great losses in the wake of the war. Their primary fortress monastery on Ossus has seemingly been abandoned. Now they are mainly operating on Tython. They would like to set up an enclave on Coruscant. Okay. Uh, let's, let's let the Jedi in. This can't end badly.
Okay, so this is like one of the smaller, smaller factions. You can allow us to recruit four sensitive children from your empire. A child begins training as a young, as a Jedi youngling. At some point in their training, younglings are expected to find their own kyber crystal in the heart of the lightsaber, or the heart of the lightsaber, a distinctive and elegant weapon of the Jedi. In order to pass on ancient or pass an ancient rite of passage known as the Gathering, younglings who succeed in their trials graduate to the level of Padawan, the apprentice of a more experienced member of the Order. Cool. Let's allow the recruitment of children into your weird into your weird monk order. This can only end well. I I've never seen any movies that indicate that this wouldn't be a good idea. So I'm I'm all on board with that. I only want one of you. Okay, you go over there. So are they yeah, they're just like a a little little state there. During its survey of Kekelius, the, uh, the Conradus Vindicator discovered several exotic gases previously unknown to us. These gases have a variety of different uses, particularly in the separate, or operation of advanced energy-based weaponry and force fields. Some of the gases can also be used as starship fuel or even as recreational drugs. Yeah, just like huff the gas. That's, that's really healthy. You can use technically a lot of things as recreational drugs that you probably shouldn't. Uh, while we do not yet possess the means to extract the resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Sure. Uh, what's our, what's our fleet look like right now? Thronta, Centurion, Reciprocity. There's our, okay, those are all forays. Construction complete. Alright, let's see. What do we want? Morisanti Pride. Leader pool size for the first thing. Pop housing usage. Nah. Discovery and all the research speed. Survey increases in speed. This is soldier production. Blah. Leader upkeep. Monthly food. Habitability. The habitability would be nice, depending on what we're going to find first. But I feel like in the core, we're probably going to mostly run into planets that we don't have to worry about for that. So I'm going to... I'm going to play it risky on that. Look, any, any moderate toxin you want to use to... I meant to right click, or I meant to shift click. There we go. Now it's gonna do that. Survey. Okay. So we can just surround the Jedi. Uh, leave that for now. No, none of that. After a series of negotiations with members of the Jedi Council, the Jedi Order has been officially approved to set up an enclave on Coruscant. So I guess that's uh, piggybacking on some of the, discovered. Uh, like the Megacorp DLC stuff potentially. Technology discovered. All right, early bombers. No. Mining. Reject anything but resources. Are we for minerals? Okay, we can actually we can build something now. Let's get the admin office. As unity is apparently very important according to the brief thing I read on the main menu in uh, the new Stellaris update, so I'm going to just go with that. Let's see. Oh, it's looking like... Uh... Oh, fine. Is it... Is the Jedi Temple going to be a feature? Anomaly detected. Uh, I'm still going to leave you for now. We're technically going to start exploring faster than we can get anything, but... Get the survey speed increase, please, for the love of God. Survey complete. Just want to see what you're looking like on survey Python. Complete. 
gained a level. Good for them. Masters from the Jedi Order have told us they have located a Force Nexus on Coruscant. Don't do it, it's got the weird guy in it. Disturbingly, it's in fact an ancient Sith shrine spreading a dark side corruption to the population. This revelation is both puzzling and worrying. The last time we encountered the Sith was during the Great Hyperspace War, and their fleets invaded the Republic. With this new information, the Jedi will now build a temple over this cursed shrine that will serve as their primary hub. Great idea, guys. Love it. 10 out of 10. Technology discovered. Wow, we sure do have a lot of Sith. The Coruscant Union has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Coruscant following the report of our contact can be best described as rapturous. Uh, oops. Our recent encounter with alien life forms has reignited and made suddenly more urgent the old debate on how we should approach contacting any potentially intelligent alien civilization we may meet. While some advocate focusing on establishing friendly relations as quickly as possible by contacting them with a message of peace, others advise caution, pointing out that we cannot know whether alien minds bear ill intent towards us and that it would be unwise to let them know too much about us before it is necessary. Open arms. Go for the hug. I'm a, I'm a Stellaris hugger. Yeah, Lord Nyax, you don't want him under your under your temples. That's really the highlight of the NJO. Is uh We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Coruscant, both the scientific community, etc. Uh that's just a base game event. Let's get uh, Bevic Gale to go and be our our envoy to the to the, those guys. Oh, Alsacon is right there, yeah. Discovered. So let's uh let's stop Alsacon from getting that. Is that a, a lightsaber? Discovered. Okay, medical supplies. Not a. I was thinking it might be like a, a Kyber crystal thing. Right, anomaly research speed. No. Yes. I said no, but I meant yes. Defense, commercial zones, hydroponics bay. I think we need commercial zones first. Then engineering from research. Complete. Right, Coruscant. We produce civilian goods. And what do we want from here? Research subsidies. Research station output increased by 20%. Either that, or we want the research alternatives. I think early on, we'll go for the alternatives. Anomaly detected. Leave it. Never, never do it. Okay, you are then going to want to go to survey complete. that one. Let's get mining and research. And you want mining and research. Survey complete. From there, you go out to that one. The Jedi Council has announced that they have... These guys are really, really needy and pushy. Announced that they have finished the construction of the temple on Coruscant. This house has a number of their members, as well as comprehensive archives of different artifacts. And in general, a giant library that will be destroyed in a very annoying mission in Star Wars Battlefront 2. They claim this place will serve as our primary diplomatic channel with them. They pledge to help us in the time of need, but otherwise they wish not to entangle themselves with core politics too much, so they will still maintain Tython as their primary independent holding. Wow. They just bought a timeshare on Coruscant, and that was it. Alright. One, then go there. Evading hostiles. Evading hostiles. Okay. Another envoy, Daria. A ground skirmish map based on bob -omb Battlefield. That'd have to be up to the mappers. I uh, I don't know that I've ever made a dedicated skirmish map for Empire War. I must have in early days, but it's been a long time. I know how, but it's just not a thing that I've ever really spent my time on. Can I actually survey that or no? Please don't jump out. 
All right, then we want the research station output. Construction complete. Build cost, build speed for that. No, I think we just want the mining station output for that. And I think population growth is still super OP. So I'm going to still just get that whenever I see it. All right, first contact event. Clear audio signal, keep going. I wonder if that's just like an event for finding uh, an Osakon scout ship or something. Probably not something that was just in Thorgeld. Okay, well, you are idle. Go over to there. Those have more powerful or more power than I want to deal with right now. And how are we for resources on everything? Because we might be able to get another another science ship. Are they dynamic class? Hold on. I should zoom in and actually look at what some of these are. Dynamic class being the, the Evan Hawks class. So these are the lander things or construction ships. And Technology yeah, let's discovered. Look at this. Construction. The Evan Hawk complete. just going around sciencing all over the world. All over the worlds. I shouldn't insinuate that the Evan Hawk would only be in one place. Okay, if we can take that planet from them, that's uh, that's going to be great. Because then Alsakan is right next to us. Energy credits from technicians. Sublight and evasion. Resource silo. Don't need any of those. Uh, I guess the heavy alloy extractor is what we want for that. Survey complete. Technology discovered. Can I not? Oh. No. All right, go and get that then. You are construction complete. A major spacefaring civilization. Shocking. All right, let's get another one. Anomaly discovery chance. That sounds pretty good for someone who's going to be anomalizing things. We'll go to that one, then go to Jug. Survey complete. You know what? Go for it this time. There's only so fast we need to get elsewhere. Uh, see, like, even with 0.25%, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 planets already. Archaeological dig site. Leave that be. All right, let's take a second to look at what we got. Uh, leader experience. Level up those scientists. We're already almost done one of those. Uh, 2275, I think, is the Mandalorian. No, 2225, I think, is the Mandalorian year that I set it to. That might be a little too early. Uh, let's get the monument. Happiness, empire size, energy credits from technicians. Sure. Coruscant. You're as built up there as you can be. I'm gonna build one more commercial sector. Only 50%. Thank you, Flagar, for the gifted sub. Or for the sub. Not gifted sub. Appreciate it. You're one for 14 months. Very appreciated. Also number one for gifted subs, but... Uh, well, I don't want to do the... Excavation yet. How's this one? Technology discovered. Just keep at it. As Venor Janus Janaris attempted to decipher the strange markings on Fenoris 1, a message came in from the capital. Our team is needed on the homeworld to help train the next generation of recon units. They'll help us. Okay. Uh, where... We've made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Panto system. For now, we've codenamed them Delta Aliens. Yeah, I think we have one more Envoy. So that, that math's out. 
You can go research the projects then. We may end up wanting to do some of the uh, some of the anomalies soon, but we've still got a lot. A lot that's nearby. Alright, let's go Empire Starship Fuel Production. I don't think these are expensive enough that like the time construction complete to do that research is ultimately going to be worth what it's going to cost us to, to do the research that makes them cheaper. I don't have the, the Metastellaris strats down, so... What are the other worlds we have? Vandor 3... Anomaly detected. Need some extra species. And there it is, Hesperidium. 60% habitability. So I'm gonna go for the habitability one next. Researcher upkeep. Special project. And complete. I wanna do the other thing. Yes. Little helpers. Little droids. The team worked for months with Government Military Task Force to complete the prototype of a spider droid, which could facilitate easier exploration of new planets in the future. Apparently, the military discovered the incomplete plans during an extensive training exercise. Speculation regarding the original developer of this droid are quickly shut down, since High Command just wants us to use the droid, or just wants to see the droid working again. The military brigade would like to give our team an F-1 Explorer droid as a thank you for our help. However, Air and Synthesia would prefer to have the surveyor droid, or have the surveyor droid their team was also working on. Okay, yeah, that does make sense. I just messed up talking. After lengthy discussions, the commander agrees to sell the other prototype for a higher price. Let's see. What does this give us? Research speed. It's 10. Okay, this is just so much better for not much more. Construction. And we've got our first perk. So let's see what the perks are. Interstellar Dominion. That's... We're expanding. We've seen a lot of these. One Vision, Mastery of Nature, Imperial Prerogative, Executive Vigor. So it looks like these are mostly... Mostly vanilla still. Alright. Well, at this point, we are going to go with... I think we're going to go with the Interstellar Dominion, maybe? Either that or Tech Ascendancy. Tech Ascendancy is just so strong. I'm going to I'm gonna go with that. Like, research in general, I, I, I like going for. Because we're not really struggling yet to, to expand our reach. Okay, you're going to go there. That's more alien vessels. But I'm going to open our fleet builder. And we're going to get... Twice the number of ships. We'll also get an admiral. Ship upkeep minus 10. Evasion, sublight speed, lead a lifespan. Need more unity to recruit admirals. Okay. That was a thing that I did not know worked that way yet. That makes sense. Like that's a that makes sense that that mechanic works that way now. I'm not sure if that's a thing the mod changed or if that's a thing that was changed in the uh, in the official update. I'm gonna guess official update because it, it does seem like that was kind of what they were mostly focusing on was that kind of. That kind of unity mechanic. This one is still done. I don't think there's anything we can really get out there. Is 
there anything else we can do? The Jedi is at root. We already did that. Can you tell us more about the Force? Ask for Jedi Guardian. What does that actually do? 2500 for the Jedi Guardian. I don't want to spend that yet. Who are we playing at, James? As James Grant is asking, we are playing as the Coruscantes. The main Republic people. The irregularity we had designated as Gamma Aliens appears to be made of some sort of crystalline material. Curiously, it seems to be able to propel itself material across the void and protect itself when necessary, indicating that it may be alive. Our researchers are working hard to find out more. Keep at it. Keep going. What's that? Uh, is it 40 per month? Technology yeah. discovered. Fuel production, let's go with... Sublight speed and evasion, I guess, because we're probably going to go into some dangerous places soon. That one should be done researching. Uh, requires med packs tech. And we can Technology mine some med packs. There's just Anomaly a, a big med pack mine out there. Leave the anomalies. We we might actually just need more more science ships still. Larger sample size. All right, research station output. I'm gonna go for that research focus. There is Alsacon. Complete. All right, I speak on behalf of the Alsacon monarchy, and I bring you greetings. Our great leader, Emperor Batano Cades, is very pleased to have made contact with your unique species. We're the same species, bro. And we look forward to an exchange of culture and ideas. Alright, cooperation. Please cooperate. Be part of the Republic. Now, go to the Starbase outpost there. Leave B for now. Long updated. New ruler has elected Chancellor Sheila Needback will be will rule until the next election. Okay, I'm gonna pause there. Oh, that's a Jedi Guardian. Fascinating creatures, or we can learn to coexist. Let's learn to coexist. Is making contact. The pop from the Jedi Order. That's nice of them. Oh, there's a uh, stuff over there. Survey, survey. This construction ship is just sitting there right now. Where's the other one? Okay, it's already going over. Okay, we can unpause. Survey. I'm just not sure what those are. Okay, we we don't want to fight. We'll research the crystalline pacification. Then I think we can go in that one. Technology discovered. All right, build the starbase outpost. Then when you're done in this system, this one should be ready, which will be a really helpful one because we want uh, we want to get into Dakun, I think. Yeah, that's the that's the one that we can actually live on. Construction complete. Crystal Mines, and more monthly unity, then we can do med packs after that. Because getting the improved unity sooner just speeds up everything later. With how much we can get into like Ascension perks and everything with it. Uh, they call themselves the Individual Choice Council, New Political Faction, Scientists, you know, Compassion, Council of Scientific Scholars. How are we looking with, uh, with our factions with what they want right now? They're all pretty happy except for these guys who want 
science without borders, research treaties with at least three other empires. Well, we don't know that there are three other empires. We want to be a federation. I well, eventually we'll be able to do all those things, but uh, nothing I can. Has to be their vassal. No. Why would I do that? Okay. Uh, one of you can go and improve relations with them. Anomaly. Presumably the Alsakanese are not uh, not going to be super thrilled with us. Anomaly detected. I mean, in the universe they join, but like, are they ever really happy about it? No. Stage... Four. I'm sorry, the negotiations have reached stage four. Nothing we can do. Be that one after, then survey that one. Complete. Okay, I guess uh, you're going to go down there then instead. So... Construction complete. Oh, well, you're done anyways. Okay, go build that star base. Level one. Anomaly detected. No, none of that. Delta aliens, a bit of setback. Very sad. Okay, I think we need at least two more of those. Because we can do anomalies as well. Technology discovered. Survey down there. Survey down there. Or you know what? I I regret it. I regret it. I regret it. I just want the one extra one. Only discovery. Survey complete. And I'll let you research that one because. I got the extra, the extra one, so that they could do some uh, some anomaly hunting. An abandoned life pod was detected in close on orbit of eight and three. It's covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded. And preliminary scans suggest it was built more than five thousand years ago. The crew of the Aldrinian Queen managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Question one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race. Possibly a mate or revered leader. Not sure what species that would be. To see Ruby far from home. Uh Defense Army, Hydroponics Bay. I guess hollow theaters for those bonuses. Get our research. Survey complete. All right, what are we going to be able to do with this? Let's get you. I think it's worth the fleet cost there. And first contact event. Then we'll look at our traditions again. An alien the Guardians of the Wills. You hacked into us, and now you call us friend. Bah! The Guardians of the Wills remain vigilant towards your kind. You're only supposed to be in the background. What are you doing here? Oh, we want to be friends, Joe. That. A big space for them. Now I'm intimidated. Construction complete. Anomaly detected. Well, technology discovered. That doesn't look great for our expansion. Technology discovered. I guess we're gonna go and uh, maybe look at some anomalies then. All right. I wanted to get. I think Coruscanti Pride. No, adaptability. Or I 
Maybe expansion, because we're about to to get into colonizing something. If we hadn't found another planet we could use already, then I'd probably do adaptability, but we found one. So let's do planetary build speed and med packs. Yeah, definitely want to attack what appears to be a fallen empire. We're definitely a good place for that. Uh, where's this guy? Come down, build that. We've got we've got no escape. It's over. Can I actually talk to them and not get killed? The technology doesn't seem to be as advanced as our own, further supporting the hypothesis that this used to be a pirate haven of some kind. No signs of struggle can be found, leading Benergen internetists to suspect that the pirates merely left the sector when their profits evaporated. We can probably cannibalize a few materials here if we were willing to tear the station apart. However, a businessman with a shady background has contacted us and would like to now rebuild the station in order to turn it into a casino. We can decide if we wish to proceed. Let's, uh, let's rent it out. Survey. We are now landlords. I think they're a fallen empire. Anomaly detected. Nope, it looks like they're a normal one. Mega church. I don't know. Anomaly detected. Yeah, looks like they're just... Just a regular one. Alright. Go and improve relations. I got all, all excited for nothing. Immense ragged planes of shadows drift across Polius see one's face. They're cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Genaris is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna. Or what possibly purpose, or if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. Makes things nice and cool. Probably best for us to build up here, if those guys are going to be there. I have three A's, uninhabitable and indeed, or uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some material, or some mineral, not native to the planet. Evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines definitely chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional. Surely. Anomaly and don't call detected. me surely. Okay, research. Okay, that is, uh, that is Enzoth. A massive crater on Vault Major 2 appears to be the result of a collision with the starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect that a ship exiting a hyperlane at maximum velocity rammed the moon for reasons unknown, roughly 10,000 years ago. The grace of Champollion tides has picked up residual subspace echoes near the crash, reminiscent of a collapsed hyperarticulate field, but as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, the theory cannot be verified. Alright, let's get all these resources. Hunting station, research station. Oh, Alsacon boxed us in. When Janaris reaches the ruins, the team separates into smaller groups to investigate the remains of this Sith temple. Since entering the ruin, Janaris has felt a sense of discomfort expressing the feeling of being watched others. As the Force-sensitive liaison is about to translate one of the ancient scriptures, he hears a voice whispering, Leave this place, you unworthy weakling, or I will destroy you. But probably less weird sounding. Nervous and insecure, our team packs their things and attempts to leave the main hall. As the team runs for their lives, they hear the same four spirit shout, Run, weakling, I'll find you anyways. The team manages to escape just in time to watch more four spirits guarding the entrance to the door. It's agreed by every member of the team that the records of the Sith Temple are deleted from the ever-expanding Galactic Hollow map. Alright, one of two will happen. 50% chance, gains the paranoid trait, uh, research speed minus 5, and only research speed minus 10. 50% chance that he just gains 250 experience and then... Uh, five Paradox points for the Paradox store. 
think he just leveled up. Yeah. Sick. All right. Uh, Coruscant. I think we need another construction ship. We can scuttle it later, but we're gonna fall behind on stuff. I think. Technology discovered. Or get over here. Survey. Move that survey up. Yeah, then we'll immediately build that up. Someone used a mining laser from an appro from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Hoelius 3A. The massive script covers a large portion of the moon's upper hemisphere. It appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. How are you feeling? I'm not going to be your vassal. How are you feeling? Research agreement. Made contact with the Ada aliens. Evading hostiles. And I think we have a free one of you. And we have some research we can do. Uh, immigrant pool. I think we just want this one for now. We'll get the immigration one later, probably. Jardlings. We don't have a fleet powerful enough to fight that yet. Uh, 8, 9, 10. Should be getting close to it, though. We can afford to, to build up our fleet a little bit. Okay, go... down to Vulter. It's already happening. Complete. And now... Enzoth kind of sucks. Lilius is so much better. Sorry, of Ethan's, but... Survey complete. Call him like I see him. Alright. Colonized time. Coruscant. We don't have 117 alloys. I knew this would happen. Need more alloys. Okay, Starbase influence cost. I think we can have this by the like both of these by the time we reach uh, reach the next one. Okay, that's coming up. Construction. We're gonna get complete. both of those, and hopefully we can. Kill those shardlings. 373, 396. Not quite. Keep going. I believe in you. So, build those. Then you can build all this. Receiving transmissions from the House of Alderaan. You hacked into us and now you call to... Okay, come on, why is everyone... I feel like I know your your friends. Dallas and Embassy? Complete. Sure. Initiating communications. Oh, they're right there too. This is a very packed area. Initiating Almost like it's the core of something. Initiating On aggression pact? Sure. Commercial pact? Sure. Research agreement? Sure. Initiating communications. Migration treaty? Sure. Uh though I'm kind of Kinda locked in here. Okay, let's do all these. The mining station. Technology discovered. Get all the research stations. Uh, yes, Bretman, this is a Star Wars total conversion. Daenerys reaches the ruins to confirm that they are indeed covered with spores and fungi. With some luck, we eventually gain entry to one of the buildings, which appears to be a laboratory. After analyzing the data pads left behind, the team was able to decode this message. Yesterday, our experiments have gone too far. Using the genes of the Vescu or Vesuveg free and the Baffins, along with some other things, we have created a new being. Like the Vesuveg, this creation... Snared its victims in tentacle-like vines. 
It also communicated with itself with the Baffor trees. Its mind is evil. What have we done? Our scientists are intimidated by the warning and decide to analyze the other old ruins in this galaxy, that we don't suffer the same fate as these poor creatures. All these poor critters. Construction complete. All right. Crickets. Ooh, science ship stuff still. No. Wait, assembly plants, maybe. For months now, there's been a buzz with politicians and diplomats pushing for and also writing a galactic constitution. To finally end the long isolation after the Great Hyperspace War, signatories will form the Galactic Republic, a state that shall bind together all the core worlds willing to join. Its leading body will be the Senate, and it will be housed on Coruscant for its central location. The head of government will be a, demo a democratically elected person from the Senate, the Supreme Chancellor. First among equals, the Supreme Chancellor will hold mostly ceremonial roles to better facilitate the work of the Senate. Millennia of peace complete. and prosperity. You get you get a bunch of millennia of uh, peace and prosperity. So, all right, let's build a human warship or colony ship. Are these different in any way? No. On Vulpter. Not the one who I was, I was originally planning on, but we might be able to do multiple. Yeah, we don't have the alloys for it just yet. Hey, baby. The annals of Galantos, Predator and Prey alike, gather together as night falls and... Sing! The howls, the clicks, the chirps, and the roars and hisses are discordant to say the least. But there's a recognizable melody in there. Not a bad one either to hear the crew of the Conrad's Vindicator tell it. The non-sapient choir is obviously the work of some alien entity, and we may never know their purpose in altering the fauna of Galantos in this way. We may, however, be able to at least start figuring out how they did it, why they did it, where they did it, and when they did it. Because why not? I added a bunch of those words, but I kept the, the basic intent the same, I think. Construction right, there's like complete. six trillion things to, to build there, and I think we can just delete you. I don't think anyone's friends with anyone in Stellaris. It's just a an all-around evil attempt to screw each other over. We've traced the unusual electromagnetic radiation emanating from Kekelius 4C to a secret subterranean bunker hiding a mega computer the size of a battleship. Our researchers suspect that it may have been there for several thousand years, hard at work solving a single, very complex problem, the nature of which still eludes us, but which the answer is 42. When the crew attempted to interact with the computer, they discovered that the facility, which had appeared both abandoned and unguarded, was in fact operated by a security AI, the highest purpose of which seems to be frying its visitors alive. As the crew defeated the AI, it broadcasted a message to an unknown recipient. Rapid for pots, uh, bunker bot, monthly engineering research, or we get the influence. I think we're gonna go for the engineering. Do a co op. We want pots. After a closer exploration of the abandoned mine, mine, Generis sees the spice deposits in the tunnel walls. A vast majority of the spice appears to have been extracted already, which explains the lack of miners in the facility. However, we were able to mine out some of the spice. The team shares it amongst themselves as a morale boost for the journeys to come. Alright. Might become a substance abuser. Or he might gain the spark of genius trait. Last time they got the, the best one, so... Shilya Nenbuk was elected as the new Supreme Chancellor. This is an historic day. Several of the galaxy's prominent spacefaring empires, including the Coruscanti Union, have announced the creation of the Galactic Republic. This supranational organization will serve as a forum where matters involving the entire galaxy can be discussed and decided upon. As one of its founding members, we can take pride in this milestone of galactic history. Okay, let's see. Are there any? Is there anyone else actually in it? Zero, Corellia, 
Oh, this is a Valderon? Okay. We have some embassies as well. Okay, do you want to have a research agreement? Nice. Relia, do you want to have a research agreement? And they'll be they'll be happy with that too. There, the the scientists should be happy with this soon. There we go. And this one just wants to be federated, which we I guess, technically aren't. Migration treaty with the Duros, sure. Commercial pact, sure. Let's let everyone have everything they ever wanted. Like we gotta be in a uh, good relations with everyone before. The Mandalorians invade in like two years. They okay, colonize. Oh crap. We still need some of that. Still need some alloys. How is Coruscant building up going? It's not. I guess I could just buy. Buy some alloys. Not like we're hurting for cash or anything. So colonize, build human worlds, Shuka Khan, not Shaka Khan. What world is this? That's it's an arid world. No one likes it. Good relations with the Wookiees. I I don't even know what a Wookiee is at this point. That might be a Wookiee right there. Or could this be a Wookiee? Who knows? As far as I know, Wookiees don't exist. Initiating communication. We got two of those. Two notifications. Initiating it's not aggression pact, sure. Defensive pact, sure. Migration treaty, sure. This. Uh, what do you want? Form commercial pact. I was gonna click sure anyways. Politicians and servants alike are unhappy about the current accommodations for the Supreme Chancellor. They say they're not fit for the head of the Galactic Republic. More and more are demanding that we build a new and bigger, greater residence for our future Supreme Chancellors on Coruscant. We started working on plans for a grand palace. Why don't they just have, like, a shitty apartment somewhere? Uh, so far I've been really liking it. Like, I usually have a problem with the, like, massive preset galaxies, which this has avoided so far. Like, that's usually my biggest issue with, uh, with Stars Total Conversions. But... Like, a lot of them do have uh, ways to avoid that, like other set maps for it, but it it seems like they're building a lot more around not having everything, like, filled up already from the start on these. So, that's been really good so far. I do enjoy their, like, later era one as well, New Dawn. Okay, that was just in time. So far, it's a would recommend. Technology discovered. Yeah, the late game definitely could be, and like we were playing some of the the preset ones mostly, but. with extra happiness like when i play the total conversions i just put the habitable planets down as far as possible uh like this is 0 0.25 times habitable world and i think that's kind of necessary for a lot of the total conversions oh no supreme chancellor why are you why are you being why are you doing this I'm going to stop improving relations with the Guardians of the Wind. Asa Khan is declaring war on Alderaan. How dare you? We should have had a... Establishing colony. We should have had a protection pact there. Manager... First Asa Khan war is underway. Wait, what? Why would you do that to me? discovered. 
Void assembly. The district housing. Okay, now we can we can properly survey this one. Like I'm thinking we can federate and pull in a lot of these guys eventually too. But uh, if Osakon is going to be acting this way, they're probably just going to get murderized. There's no other way. Ooh, I think we actually have the research to build the mining stations to mine some med packs. Anomaly detected. Keep researching anomalies. And that sure construction total bombardment damage plus twenty five percent. Survey speed up and automatic exploration. Automatic exploration would have been a nice feature earlier. Survey speed I don't think we care too much about. I'm gonna do the bombardment. Who are we voting for? I'm gonna vote for Alderon just to piss off. Also con. Establishing colony. I don't care what the rest of the platform was. It just I I want to piss off all the wrong or also con. When scientist Coden Tyler's anger developed into an outright insanity, another team was sent to investigate the matter. They discovered the moon Spira 3A had an energy field shrouded in the force that makes people that more aggressive and violent. We have decided to stop the exploration, but the current research allows us to find out more about the force. The ancient powers on the mind. Ability plus five. Physics research. Always go for the research. My new policy. As soon as the science team got within range of the shuttle, the crew opened fire on us. Although the engagement only lasted a few minutes, we will have to make the repairs on our own landing craft ship. Thankfully, there are plenty of parts laying around in the form of attacker shuttle. Our team discovered they were so aggressive on first contact to the spice they had tried to quickly stow away. We must have arrived on the planet just before the spice deal could have taken place. But we have no way to know where this spice was headed. At least we can make sure it doesn't end up in the wrong hands. No one will notice if some of the contraband goes missing for personal use, right? It's happening. It's all just running away. Alright. Where is our other constructy one? Still over there. We can't build that mining station. We'll have to come to that. And I think we can come over to this now. I'm not sure why Alsakan felt comfortable attacking Coruscant. There's not really much we can do about that without uh, more direct relationships. I'm going to guarantee your independence, though. Like, we're not getting influence, which is kind of sad. But we are still getting unity, so who cares? Like, we're not going to be able to expand too much in the short term anyways. So... Can I declare you my rival, actually? Or are you too small? Declare war... Uh survey complete. Okay, stop improving relations. We gotta hurt the relationships. Technology discovered. The also content doesn't want to be part of the the big core alliance. There's nothing we can do for them. If they wanna stop the or if they wanna Stand alone against the Mandalorians? That's their problem. I think can complete. start in as little as a year. Alright, Starbase upkeep reduced, pop growth. Go with the pop growth. We'll probably want Empire size after that, but our Empire is of. Pretty appropriate size. 
When our team of miners and scientists led by Manala Agoras excavated the ruins on H77863, they discovered multiple small trinkets belonging to various ancient sapien races, including a fair amount of minerals reserved in a familial chest. The team theorized that the base was owned by a minor crime family. We have to decide what to do with the treasures in the base. I think we just need the funds. All right, let's get uh, the museum side here because we want the influence. We want some minerals, maybe. We want basically anything that isn't uh, any isn't money right now. Colonies are still being made. Technology discovered. There's a non-zero chance we all just get wiped out by the Mandalorians. Technology discovered. All right, uh, let's do. Colony. It's ship types. Our spymaster watching over the Alsacon monarchy reports the surprise. Successful acquisition of a new asset. A sympathetic contact who will be of service to our operations as and when we need them. All efforts have been taken to ensure that this new contact is genuine. Protocols have been established which seek to minimize the risk of potential double agents, for example. We got that. We're going to increase research. Uh, what do we want on Vaulter? I always click on the wrong thing. Actually, do we want admin offices? I think we do want it. What's this? Rare crystals. It seems like there's fewer resources. Construction. Complete. Well, heavy alloys, I'm not sure what those actually do. The fewer resources compared to a lot of the other uh, total conversions, potentially. Okay, where is the nearest scout? Survey the system. You just go sit there. Or that also conflict comes Technology with uh, with some scouts of their own. A power core. That's a lot of H's. More H's, better than fewer H's. And we've got another human from the the Jedi Order. So we got some Jedi. What can we do with Tython? Yeah, we, we don't have any we don't have any kyber crystals. You're gonna have to just be satisfied with stealing Colony all the children. Founded. Like we're still grabbing some planets in here. I'm gonna survey that system. You're gonna excavate the site. Technology discovered. You are gonna research the anomaly. Walkers. Let's get the gas extraction route. Technology discovered. And all that. Prove our ships. I suppose we'll want proof shields. And research as much as you want. Actually, that was probably a mistake. The survey system. A particularly observant operative in the Alsacon monarchy has laid their hands on a part of the Alsacon encryption key. It would seem a careless human politician mislaid the device whilst commuting. This bodes well enough for our operations in the Alsacon monarchy, but our study of the device's unique design has revealed novel insights for our general approach in code breaking. A routine ecological study of our colony on Vulper has stumbled upon a strange fungal life form. The science team reports that the surface of the mycelium is shimmering and colorful, but what was most intriguing to them was the fact that the separate clusters were seemingly communicating with one another whenever something occurred within a wide radius. Furthermore, the biology of the organism appears to be clearly alien to the ecosystem of the colony. Puzzled, the local science team has requested specialized support as we might be dealing with a sentient species. Uh, get a lot of food? That's how we dispose of them as we eat them? Take a closer look. I'm not just gonna eat the mushrooms. We don't know what they are, but let's just pop them in our mouths, eh? Alright. 
Sorry for a, a shorter stream there, probably still a long episode, but that is going to have to do it for today. Tomorrow night we are going to be playing Expanding Fronts. Uh, that is the Galactic Battlegrounds mod, which also just had a new release. So there will be hopefully another stream of this later this week. If not, we'll definitely be back either next Tuesday or next Wednesday. Uh, so we'll continue on from where we left off with that. Thursday night, I'm thinking, is going to be League with Charlie. If that doesn't happen, uh, then I'll play one of these or Galactic Battlegrounds. So we'll see what happens there. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this quick first look at Legacy of the Old Republic. I will put a link in the video description on the YouTube version of this for anyone who wants to check out the mod for yourself. Otherwise, you can look on the Steam Workshop, which uh, it should be pretty easy to find there. But thanks again for watching. Hope you all have a good day and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.